Hello, everybody! I put my hand right in your face. Like, oh, God. Uh, oh, we're off to a wonderful start. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> well, anyway, it is Sunday Fun Day with Ghostbusters in name only. So, of course, we're going to be on a, be at a wonderful start. As you can see, she's back! Even though she worked today, I drug her to this movie anyway. Well, it helps that I worked at night. Yeah, you worked late. Yeah. Well, late compared to normal times. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like, ah, oh, they just began. <laughs> From my usual work days. Yeah, I work graveyard shift. Anybody wants to know why I'm more of a night person? It's <laughs> simply because I have no choice but to be. Hmm. <sighs> Well, you and I are both night owls anyway. Yeah. Well, the bad thing, though, is I'm a night owl and, and a, a morning, morning person. person. <laughs> How the hell that works out, I don't know. But mm. Yeah, she hates me in the morning. She's like, I'm all chipper, like, ready to go. Hi, honey. And she's like, oh. Uh, the extent of my communication skills when I wake up is, mm. And thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Yeah, she's. But that's the extent of my communication skills. I do not open my mouth to say a damn thing. You're almost monosyllabic, but you know, a little bit above, maybe get sometimes two, but hey. Oh, but yeah, as you can see, we really don't want to talk about Ghostbusters. Hey, <laughs> surprise, surprise! The trailers were terrible. The movie's even worse. Oh. All right. Do you want to begin? Because I could start if you want me to. I have a lot to say. I'm gonna say, how about I start first? Cause you're gonna take a while. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take a while. I'll try not to interject too much by mine every now and then. I'll just drink my tea. <sighs> okay, so my thoughts on the movie. It was not good. I do not see this movie, y'all. It was not funny. Pirate it. <laughs> Sneak in the theater. Don't pay money for this movie. I thought you said you were going to interject as little as possible. I said I'm going to interject. I didn't say I was going I was going to do it, but I am going to interject right now. Because unfortunately I'm an asshole like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Pirate the Movie's my idea. Yeah, it was... <sighs> the humor was very, very juvenile. What humor there was... Though, I did find it really funny. You left the theater before this. Oh, I was incomplete. <laughs> Done. Yeah, as soon as, Done. The, as soon as the movie was over, as the credits were rolling, he's like, out of here. I, I couldn't have got out quicker. Well, it didn't help this me throughout the entire movie. And you actually took your glasses off at one point. I was like, mm. it's like I, I heard your gla glasses yeah, the thing. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, I had my glasses on. just... Can't hear because it's just a carpet, <laughs> but I it hit a hard plastic. Clung. It's like, well, because I was dumbfounded. I can't even remember how bad the joke. It was, it was like the, the first joke. five or ten minutes of the movie, I think. Oh, I, I know what. I'll, I'll go into it whenever I talk about my crap, my issues with this movie. But yeah. But yeah, uh, there's one thing in the end credits Ooh. where Chris Hemsworth is dancing like a big goofball. Ideas. <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. That was pretty good. Uh, I don't know why they didn't, you know, put it actually in the movie. Because, um, as his brother was even pointing out to me earlier, it's like they even set up for that particular scene. But, you know, I decided to just leave it out and put it in the end credits. I could give you a good idea why. And I've already tweeted about this. I've said something about it on Facebook. Paul Feig, I think is his name. I think it's Feig. Well, I know there's a Paul Feige, I think is his name. And he is like the head of the Marvel things. Their names are nearly the same except for one has an E at the end of it. But they're both kind of jackasses. But uh, he can't edit very well in his... his uh, how he constructs scenes and puts them together and everything are choppy at best. Like Bridesmaids had that issue too. Like it was, it was, the scenes weren't spliced together very well. It was like we just took this random scene, inserted it here, even though it should be there. He has that problem, 
and he'll chop out stuff that doesn't make sense. It's like, okay, why don't just leave that in there? So you might look at me funny for what I'm about to say, but like, I thought it was also kind of funny. Some of the stuff they were doing with uh, Chris Hemsworth when they were making fun of like how attractive but dumb he is. Because so he's because he is dumb. No. Well, in the end credits, they were talking about um, like taking out the phone, like removing the phones all together, and someone said, "Yeah, I don't think he'll notice." See, it's like it was kind of like a little. <laughs> it's like you're not you're not really that funny, but it's like it was, yeah. Can I give my opinions about this really quick with just that alone? About you want to go ahead and go off on your rant? Well. It kind of wasted him in a lot of ways because I know it's supposed to be the pretty boy who, you know, is supposed to be kind of stupid. But they didn't just make him stupid. He's not mentally retarded. Like, I, I don't know how he ties his shoes. This man, it's like, oh, he tripped. He, 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 he. It's so funny. Fuck you. Not you, but Paul. Yeah. Fake, fake. I can't pronounce fake. the name. <laughs> I think Gorilla a... came up, punched him in the nuts, and I'd laugh. <laughs> That'd be the best thing he'd ever be involved in. But um, oh, I will say this much: at one point, Chris Hemsworth's character Kevin he tries to like be one of the team. Whereas it's seen he, the trailers. Whereas he previously he showed no interest up to that point. It's like, well. It literally seemed like something that was in the trailer. Again, it this that's a weird thing. It's moves I mean, yeah, it's like he, weird. Yeah, it's like he's supposed to be the receptionist, but he doesn't seem like he's not even interested in that because I think he's an aspiring actor or model or something. Yeah. Or something like that. And he is thing. <laughs> and he's like he's more interested in you know pursuing his own career than you know being the recept receptionist and magical jump cut. Sorry. <laughs> Probably heard that while she was talking. I was waiting her to finish. I'm like, I need to let the cat in. They're going to hear this the entire time. I don't know what if they hear it. it it's, it's, like, it's almost, uh, it'll tone out what you're saying. It's kind of loud, her. Well, it's not like with no, my dogs and them, like, scratching near their collars. It's almost jingle. as bad. <laughs> it's not quite as ear piercing <laughs> as that <laughs> ting ting they do, but yeah, her scratching will muffle out everything you're saying. Well, at least on the ear one. I don't know about this one. Hey, if you didn't notice, this is a new camera. That's the reason why everything's a little wider. You can see my Freddy, my Nightmare on Elm Street poster, which is awesome. My Dread poster, which Fantastic is awesome. Fantastic Four over here. Yeah, Fantastic Four, because I like movie posters. Even though the movie's kind of, uh, eh. You see Captain America. I'm about to say, you, <laughs> about to say, you can't Whoa. see Epi on Tall Geese up there. But you can see uh, Catherine. Yeah, Sorry, a couple of one. Captain America posters here. Yeah. Can you tell I like Captain America a little? Oh, you can't see uh, my... Uh, Mercurius? Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam fans, remember the one that had the shield, the red one? I can't remember what its name is. Major nerd points there. No reason, <laughs> but hey, I just try to remember. But, yeah, see, you kind of giggled at it, but see, like I said, they made him really stupid. To the point where, I don't know if he knows how to breathe. <laughs> Well, like, also with him, I'm not trying to put this, it's like, I also kind of liked when they just kind of pointed out, like, he's kind of a hunk. Yeah, but you see, that's just like, kind of a duh joke, and it's like, thanks, mm -hmm. we couldn't figure this one out on ourselves. Even straight men want to have sex with Chris Hemsworth, because he's hot, and he's muscular, I, and he... I'm pretty sure he rips open his shirt and his wife is the happiest woman in the world. Yeah, he is married. I know that. They have a daughter. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's probably planned a couple more babies in her. <laughs> Every time she's like, oh yeah, you're doing more Avengers movies. Honey, I'm playing to I, 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 No, you're doing Avengers. I, <laughs> I, I, I would not be surprised if she gets pregnant just staring at him, at least shirtless, if not mm. completely naked, it's like, hello. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, okay, I'm off your like, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, hello. All the eggs drop. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it like, okay, I'm afraid you didn't have to do anything. Here. <laughs> That's 
sorry, wonderful noise. But uh, yeah, see, it's like that's the thing. Tell Nora, he, he he's hot. Yeah, but it's like he was annoying in this because of how stupid they made him. I mean, in the trailers, he look he acts dumb, but he's even dumber. And it's it wears thin quick, like many other things in this movie. But, <sighs> Please continue before well, I... Well, so I'm done. Like I said, like the humor was juvenile. There's very little that I liked about it. Uh, dare I say it. Not even Chris Hemsworth was enough to really salvage this movie. So. Also, it helped you barely in it. Yeah, so take it away, honey. <sighs> Shall I get out a book? Nah, because <laughs> you can interject your own opinions and everything. When my cat tries to sit on your foot. I was about to say, your cat tries to sit on my foot on my toes. Yeah, we're talking about you. She's like, man, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Where do you begin? I begin with the first five minutes, which is what caused my glasses that to fall off my face and very violent. And I almost started screaming at the movie, Stop! That you even did yell at the movie. Oh, I yelled a couple times. I flipped off the screen a few times. <laughs> yeah, but that would work to the people behind us. I don't give a shit. The, boy, I was... Yo <laughs> the asshole kept kicking our chairs. Yeah. Well, it didn't help. I'm pretty sure they got mad at me because, like, at one point, I'm just sitting there checking my phone. A bright-ass, brand-new Samsung. Keep checking. my like, please, this guy, be it's been on for 15 minutes. Oh. Nope, it's been on 20. So, so you didn't notice that product placement? That I didn't notice it right away because I was so angry. Yeah, when they're having pizza, yeah, like it says point. Papa John's, like, it's like yeah. that's why they're doing the commercials with the Papa John's. It's like, okay. And not only that, but it's not so. Like, they're sitting there, we're going to have pizza, even though they live above a, or they're. They live above a Chinese restaurant that never gets their order right. Yeah, they keep making big or deal. Or they or at least never gets stuff. Melissa McCarthy's order right. Yeah, and it's. So Stupid. It's this in joke, I guess. It's a running joke, running gag. And it's dumb, dumb. It's. I know the guy, he's in. Because he is, if I'm not mistaken, he's actually Indian or something like that. He does an Indian accent. He was on. I really want to say community or something like that. Those who know, and you're going to correct me, I just let you know, I don't give a shit. I hate the guy's shtick because that's his shtick console. It's just. I am Indian. I already talked with an Indian accent, because I want to say the guy actually really doesn't talk that way. It's sort of like the guy who was in um, Transformers Dark of the Moon, the Asian guy. Asian? Yeah, he was also in Hangover. He was oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah, he okay. doesn't talk at all with yeah, any kind a, of accent. Yeah, he has a show, uh, Dr. Ken. Yeah, where he doesn't do the accent, thank goodness, because people yeah. kind of start getting tired of his shtick. Well, he talked like this and did the Asian stereotype. It's like, it got well, he doesn't, so yeah, he doesn't use the accent in Knocked Up. Yeah, well, that's because he can generally be funny because he's just kind of a morose kind of person. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Um, oh, but. Oh, oh, shit. Movie pissed me off in the first five minutes. First off, it begins, we're in this uh, mansion, is what it calls it. It's like a four by five house. It wouldn't have been a mansion in the 1600s, much less in the 1900s is what they keep saying. Though I think they're meaning the 1800s, or they should say the 19th century, because... The 1900s, there wasn't as much of an issue with the uh, Irish. Because, um, like, they make an Irish joke. Which, boy. An Irish security fence. Yeah. They even had all the luxuries. And an Irish security fence. I'm like, that's your first joke, huh? First joke. Ow. Ow, movie. Mm -hmm. That actually hurt, that joke. I make jokes against not the Irish all the time. I say not because it's offensive to you. Yeah, I don't care, just... but it's stupid and it's kind of. All right, if you're just gonna go ahead and just make a joke against ethnicities or against religions or, or not religions, but uh, anybody's where they're from or anything Ethnic like this, go ahead and just say it. Make a black joke. That's what you're just going for. He was in Deadpool, the Indian dude. 
The one yeah, that was he was the cab driver. Yeah, cab driver. Okay. That was the only time he was actually funny. And that's because he had Ryan Reynolds to work mm. off of. And also that movie was written by a human and not by some <laughs> weird alien that does not understand human comedy. But yeah, that's your first joke is a joke that feels like it pulled a punch. And it's such a stupid joke. It's such an expected joke. And on top of everything, this guy is go we're like we're going through his like house tour thing because this guy's like it's like this the only surviving mansion or house or eighteenth or nineteenth century house in all of New York. Even though that's not true, but I guess in this movie's universe it is. Sorry, this movie makes a lot of not sense. But like there's these little bitty little jabs and weird things that don't make sense or they're yeah, jokes the tour, that are so stupid you're yeah, like the tour guide doesn't really come off like a tour guide yeah he comes off as a guy like, like hollywood's version of a tour guide hollywood's idea of a tour guide I paul feig's idea of what a tour guide looks like and yeah he was not on like a community or anything like that i didn't care that much in one way or the other he's a shitty actor i'm just saying i don't care that much <laughs> just say it i swore i saw him on there I watched about three episodes, and I swore I saw him on promos or something. Wow, you racist. What? Like, you're confusing him with another Indian dude. No, I'm not confusing him with the main guy. I'm just saying that and I thought I saw him on, like, a promo for an episode. Like, I didn't think he was on it continuously. Like, he was on off every now and then. Off again, off, on again. But, either way, <laughs> we go through this tour thing, and... Oh, yeah. eventually, oh, the ghost shows up. And hmm, that's when we get smacked with it. $150 million, and this movie can't afford decent CGI. And it's weird, like, they try to actually make a lot of the ghosts, I don't know if you know, so they try to make them actually kind of terrifying looking. Which, as a a lot of them look zombie-ish. Mm, yeah. Well, to the be fair, that's something mirror. that kind of did with the uh, first one. Sort of did that every now and then. But still, they were terrifying enough that you would get why people would be scared of them. But at the same time, like they would usually mostly resemble humans, except for Slimer, of course. <laughs> and until you got to the second Slimer. one. That was so stupid. <laughs> That made, Sorry, me wanna, a girlfriend in this. that made me <laughs> want to punch a screen. God, if I knew AMC wouldn't have just... Nope, nope, you can't come back. You punched the screen. <laughs> I am a man! Boom! Oh, I felt like doing that to, to this movie. I really wanted to punch this movie into junk <laughs> really badly afterwards. Yeah, we get to see the first ghost, and... As you've seen the trailers, like, oh, the CGI looks really weird. One, the ghosts are very brightly lit. Which kind of doesn't set very well. It's like, well, how can nobody see these things? They are freaking neon signs everywhere. Mm -hmm. And constantly, throughout this entire movie, like, eventually we get Kirsten Wiggs character. Who's about as enjoyable as she is in everything. Which is to say, not enjoyable at all. Yeah, she's really She's insanely stiff. wooden. Yeah. That's her stick. Like, she did that in MacGruber. She did that in Bridesmaids. She, did, she does that in Martian. She did that in Knocked Up. She did that in every movie she's in. She's the bitchy uh, CEO lady. Along with the oh, guy that's yeah, also the... from Firefly. Yeah, the guy's also in, like, Dodgeball. Yes. Uh... Yeah, we were talking talking about dodgeball earlier. We were talking about Lori Beth Denberg. Because we, I had to remember a very good comedy movie, especially the unrated <laughs> version. Oh, I love the smoke, queefs in the morning. And Best line ever comes out of nowhere from Rip Torn. Totally makes no sense, but hey, it works. But yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Now yeah. I don't know who you're talking about the. Or at least her character. Yeah. 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 She, yeah. I tried to ask uh, who is it to lose weight, Catherine Heigl. Yeah. Well, I can't ask you all this way. That's always how she is in everything. She was that way when she was on SNL. And it never was funny. But people are like, it's so funny because it's not funny. Okay, anti-humor. 
a little rant on anti-humor. Mm -hmm. Because this movie's full of that shit. Mm -hmm. Just throwing it out there. If it's not funny, that doesn't magically make it funny. Just because it's awkward, and even then, it's not really awkward. It's just, you sitting there going, shut up. You're constantly yelling. I mean, I was doing that at the screen that sometimes, because all you had was, cares, no, but wait, no, I don't, no, hey, I, I, I hate it when Ben Stiller got in that shtick in the mid-2000s, and it was terrible. He really got into it with Meet the Fockers and Little Fockers. It was really bad when he was doing that. And Paul Feig, Feig, Fuckface, indulges so much in it, you would swear he's Jabba the Hutt with it, because he's constantly using that as his shtick for what he wants the actresses to do. Make it awkward. But it's not awkward. It's just two people who can't say anything without just cutting each other off in terms of sentences. And even then, they're not saying anything funny, anything important, anything moving the story forward, anything that can make you laugh, or anything. It's just stupidity. And you just want to punch everybody. You want to clock them right in the nose and tell them, you shut up. You shut up. Everybody shut up now. Good. Oh, God. I really was so worried that this movie was going to be chock full of that because it's not rated R. If it was rated R, it would have more shit jokes in it. And probably dick and ball jokes or something. Or sex jokes. But since it's PG-13... Uh, I want you to see what they did to Avengers and Babysitting. It was remade by Disney. When did they do this? Uh, fairly recently. I saw an advertisement for it while I was up at Target the other day. Oh. In fact, I even saw a copy of it while I was up there. I was like, what is the point? Do you know Adventures in Babysitting was, you know, a PG-13 movie? Begin with, right? Well, it has a very famous line from it. Don't. With the babysitter. Don't. Don't what? Don't. <laughs> don't, don't fuck with the babysitter. Say it with emotion. Let's say you can say it with your fingers, you can't say it with your mouth. <laughs> I'll say it all you want later. <laughs> uh, well, but still. I just really very dirty to what I just said. <laughs> no, I didn't really intend it to be. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> oh, but. But, yeah, very famous line, don't fuck with the babysitter. Mm-hmm. And they even have at one point in the little commercial, don't mess with the babysitter. What is the point? Especially with these little teeny bobbers running around. It's like, what? What? Mm. I mean, not that I've ever seen that movie, but it's like, why? What does this add to it? Eh, well, what did this add to Ghostbusters? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, even I, as a woman, have to wonder, what did, you know, taking the original movie and... Ginger swapping and all. Yeah, issues. just adding an all female cast. Like, what did that do? What did that add to it? Well, I will say this much. Yeah, we all, we all fall. Damn, I can't talk. I'm all for girl power, but like I said, it doesn't really seem to add anything to it. Well, I will say this much. It wasn't a straight up gender swap of the movie because this movie also decided that. We can't, not only do we have to have these five minutes of characters cutting each other off and doing the stupid shtit, shtit, <laughs> shit that I hate, we also had to have everything explained to us. Here's your spoon, feed it to your fat pie hole. Well, because people are dumb nowadays. But nobody so needed that shit to explain, especially when it's made up science. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Paranormal science, at its core, is guesswork. I mean, it's more guesswork than quantum physics. And quantum <laughs> physics pretty much is Convoluted. guess it. Guess it, maybe you're right. Guess it, yeah, maybe you're right. Well, I guess this. Well, maybe you're right, too. Who knows? In fact, quantum physics, how it works, technically, they both can be right. Yeah, quantum physics will make your brain hurt when you try <laughs> to think about it too much. Especially when you think about the parallels and different universes and alternate theories and how that works. Yeah. Well, there you
I can't try and get in the quantum phase. I don't like my ears bleeding anymore. <laughs> but what I mean is like, we had to have the explanation about how all the guns work and we had to have like a little tutor tutorial segment of showing off each of the new weapons. Yeah. Which had nothing to the movie except for length. It's like, literally they could just pull these out and who cares? It felt like a video game segment. Except for, here's the thing, we saw this in the Ghostbusters video game. The Xbox 360s version. Buy that game. That game was fantastic. It had all of the original cast. It looks still really good. And it plays fantastic. And you feel like a Ghostbuster. This movie, I didn't feel like I'm watching Ghostbusters. I constantly felt like I'm watching four idiots that happen to have a bunch of dangerous weapons. They're whipping them around everywhere. And it's funny. They almost did as much destruction as Superman in Man of Steel by the end of it. Because, uh... The whole plot of this movie, because, again, it spoon-feeds it to us, we couldn't just have this... There's this guy who's wanting to open up ley lines. That is something I actually do know about when it comes to metaphysics and whatnot. I know a little bit about it, too. Yeah. Uh, whether or not it works exactly the way, I don't give a shit. They try to explain it because the first one sort of tried to explain how Zul what was coming in but even then it was a basic explanation with the whole Zool thing they built it as a conduit to the other realm is pretty much how they explained it in the first movie just FYI it's been a while since I've seen the first one I'll show it to you and then you're gonna scream even more because the <laughs> this new travesty I mean, like, I remember Castle. the second one I just I can't remember much of the first one I have them I got them both they're I fantastic know. movies I only remember that one part that you like. Like, Dickless here. Dickless here, cut off the power. Is this true? They were trying to cause an explosion. Is this true? Yes. This man has no dick. <laughs> Best line in the whole movie, just about. <laughs> but, and it's bad. I didn't even get, like, any really good lines. There's no good one liners or anything like that. But instead, we get. Yeah, I don't remember any particular. Any particularly memorable lines except for, like, Oh, I should have worked out when I was alive. Yeah, definitely should have worked out. Yeah, that line was kind of like, almost kind of like, huh. Yeah, kind of was. Well, that's what I mean by jokes. I laughed almost half as much as I did in Secret Life of Pets. <laughs> at least at that line. Hey, yo. Sorry. Key just texted me. Yeah, that scene... It's like... That's well, what we didn't explain like... what that scene was. Because I'm going to go ahead and spoil this movie, because I'm telling you, don't see it. It's actually spoiled in the trailer for you. In some of the trailers. Yeah. It's really pissed me Pretty... I didn't care. I was like, who gives it's a like, rat's really? ass? It's like, really? Why don't give that away? Why? Who cares? Who really gives a rat's ass if this, ex this spoils this movie? Again, pirate this movie. Don't pay for it. Mm, you pardon. are encouraging illegal acts. No. I am suggesting... I am heavily suggesting. There's a big difference. But anyway, um, oh, what was I gonna say about? Oh yeah, but the big again, the big plot is this guy is using this thing that is creating ghosts, pretty much. It's activating ley, ley lines, like what we were just talking about. Yeah. And like summoning all these ghosts. Though how exactly from, like, that the other works side or doesn't something. make sense. Including all these ghosts from the other side. It's like, well, if they're already on the other side, doesn't that mean they've crossed over? Now that I think about it. Mm. Well, again, the video game actually kind of touched upon this and that there is actually a realm where the ghosts really do reside and it's different than heaven and hell. Because they don't have really a heaven and hell in a way. At least I don't believe. That it's uh, it's more of a realm, I think, that was built by malevolent spirits and whatnot, and people that do want to come over and come back and take over the world. This movie really doesn't explain that very well, or even go into that, or At even all. have any of that, which is strange because it tries to explain everything. Mm -hmm. And this movie's like, explain everything, but don't explain everything. Hmm? But yeah, the. Yeah, it tries to activate these ley lines and summon all these ghosts, and in the process, the dude 
that built the machine to do this, he becomes a ghost by... Killing himself. Yeah, killing himself by electrocuting himself with a machine. By showing them where it is, instead of just offing himself, and then immediately... Yeah, there's a big issues with the fact of just killing himself in front of them. It's like, alright, well, they know where the hell it is. Because it's supposed to be the one blink ley line thing. Though, wouldn't these others also mm -hmm. make? But who cares about that? But yeah, he becomes a ghost. He first possesses Melissa McCarthy, which you kind of see in the trailers. Get out of my friend, ghost! You know, and her the black chick, uh, like, punching her or slapping her really yeah, slapping hard. Her around. <laughs> Yeah, and, it's hilarious. Yeah, and then um, he possesses Kevin, Chris Hemsworth's character, and for the rest of the movie. Yeah, he's in Chris Hemsworth. And it seems like somehow... Well, except for, um, not the Stay Puffed thing. Uh, oh, yeah, Stay Puffed's in yeah. this movie for reasons. What was it, the Mr. Tasty thing? They, they, they turns into... He turned into the ghost symbol from the... Yeah, whenever you see, yeah. like, the giant version of the ghost symbol... Yeah, but it was inspired by something. I don't know what the hell it was inspired by. It's a movie making drains my brain. I, 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 I don't remember. know. I don't I, care even. I, I don't I, want to think about it with this movie. No, no, no. Even though I do have to think about the fact that this plot really doesn't make a lot of sense. Has quite a few little holes in it, which is bad. And also, if you think about it, and also, uh, sorry, I keep saying it also, but this movie has the great thing that since they explain everything and they have to show all this other bullshit that we don't care about, the first movie gets started in like 15 minutes, if that. We get introduced to the creepy stuff with Dana, and we get introduced to them trying to set up the actual Ghostbusters and everything fairly quickly. This movie nearly takes an hour to start. Yeah, to set up everything. It's like, I kept waiting for the story to start. It's yeah. like... For them to actually go in uniform as the Ghostbusters. Again, we need that explained why their well, uniforms are the way they are. Assemble all of them. It takes forever and a fucking day. Yeah. I mean, I mean and like that whole thing with her wanting to get tenor, tenure. Mm-hmm. Uh... Yeah, Kristen Wiig's character. Like, it's just really... It's there to give her a reason to kind of be hesitant about joining up with Melissa McCarthy. And again, Paul Feig does the same thing time. he always does. He makes all his characters hate each other. Unlike in the first one where it seemed to be like they kind of have some issues with each other because uh, Bill Murray's character is kind of a bit of a dickhead. But he's a lovable dickhead, like Bill Murray is. I must say, like just like Bill isn't, Murray, like just like he is in every movie. Yeah, know? but he's lovable in that sense. But here, the characters actually really don't like each other, except for like the black lady who just kind of shows up and decides decides to stick around. If well, I can, and, give, mm -hmm. um, also Melissa McCarthy and the blonde chick. Yeah, they have, like, some friendship thing that they kind of talk about, oh, I'm better friends with her than I am with you, Kristen Wiig. If that tells you anything, I don't even remember their characters' names. I don't, I don't even want to know. I must say, if you're interested in trying to know me, I don't know. I don't remember what that chick's name was, what the blonde chick. I don't like, remember the blonde chick. I don't remember like Melissa McCarthy's. I don't remember Kristen Holston, Wiig. Holbrook, Holbrook, something. All I know Perhaps. is she's... Uh, again, she's an SNL alumni, if I'm not mistaken, and she's... Kate McKinnon is the actor, actress. Yeah, name. and her shtick is being awkward. Just be weird. Yeah, I was like, she was just really crazy. I was like, I mean, there are a couple times when it's like, okay, she's actually kind of tolerable. It actually kind of works for her. But... A lot most, of the time, it's... Yeah, unlikely. it's like, for the most part, it's like... Oh my god, it's like, why are you acting this way? It's like, what is wrong with you? That's what she does in everything. She did that in SNL. Because I watched a few things with her, and I'm like, God. I really want to say she's the I same lady the who got cast. into trouble. Oh, she's not new. She well, used I mean, to be on it in the mid-2000s, same with Kristen Wiig. Yeah, I've not watched since, like, early 2000s, I think. I think. But if I'm not mistaken, Kristen McKinnon 
is hate or, again. Yeah, whatever. Fuck her. I don't care. <laughs> But if I'm not mistaken, she's one of the she's the same lady who got in trouble because her first time on SNL. I'm probably getting confused, but she slipped and said "fuck," and it's live, of course. Oh, oh no! Mistaken, it's a, there's a five second delay now. There's always been a delay, but they did not catch it in time because she really just slipped it. Oh, but anyway, else this movie sucks so bad. I got if I give any kind of positive, I will say the black lady who is completely unlikable in the movie or in the trailer is uh, slightly more tolerable than she is in the trailer, simply because she doesn't scream as much as I thought she was going to. She's just kind of there, though. She's no Ernie yeah. Hudson at all, even though Ernie Hudson is actually her, her uncle. uncle, because. We have to jam in all, all the original cast members except for Rick Moranis because Rick Moranis ain't doing it. And what in the hell is my cat doing? <laughs> she is trying to get under where my my 360 games are. Nah. But, sorry, can't get there, kitty. Yeah, but, every... Uh, yeah, I actually kind of like that one part where she's walking away with the ghost and people stop taking a selfie. It's like, really? You like that part? That was terrible. I thought it was kind of... It's, again, the millennial shit that Paul Feig thinks, oh, hilarious. Well, I find it... I find it kind of funny, because... Yeah, that's what I see people doing nowadays. Like, people... I mean, people are killing animals just to take a selfie with them. It's like, do we... Would, would you really put it past someone and take a selfie with a ghost? Either way, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> it's just the thing. It's like, it, and here's hey. an issue with it. It's an obvious joke. It's a joke you see not only because of the trailers, but also you would expect that. And it's like, it would actually be kind of funny if they didn't do that. Or if some, because like they're at a rock concert while they're doing it. It's like, oh, it's so, mm -hmm. it looks so real. Even though it's right there in front of you, you can touch the damn thing. Mm. Ah. Mm. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Continue. I'm trying to collect my thoughts because it's just it's anger. Just... The hate just washing over you in waves. Yes. <laughs> hate leads to anger. <laughs> anger leads to sadness. And that was our valedictorian speech in 2005. <laughs> oh my god, that's so weird. 